the first and only elected UKIP councillor in Milton Keynes. That's a very fortunate position for me to have. Um, it's got its challenges, as I'm sure you can imagine, when you walk into the council chamber and there's 56 other councillors, they're either Labour, Conservative, Liberal, and the majority of which won't smile at you, and even the larger majority won't even talk to you. It's that bad. Why won't they talk to you? Because you don't care. They want nothing to do with it. Why don't they want anything to do with you? Because they are kind of scared of anything. We've got one seat. However, on the 22nd of May, 2014, UKIP, Milton Keynes, hold more votes than the whole of the Liberal Democrats all put together. You take all the Liberal Democrats, you put all their councillors together, and we got more of the common vote. We polled over 32,000 votes. People of Milton Keynes voted more for UKIP than they did for the Liberal Democrats, which I think is, it says a lot for the interest in UKIP and what the public of Milton Keynes want. You can even get a new top of the range iPad now on the council. Great stuff. Do you know what? There's one councillor in Milton Keynes that hasn't paid any expenses at all for the past year. Not even a penny on mileage. Uses his own PC, his own printer, his own paper, and his own iPad. Do you know who that is? He is a gay. Yeah. yeah. I'm not fortunately driven by my party in terms of a party whip. Nigel Farage doesn't tell me what to do. In fact, nobody in UKIP tells me what to do. The only people that I report to, the only people that judge me, are my constituents. They're the people that will re-elect me or not re-elect me, as they see fit. So I work for them. Through their council tax, they pay my salary. I report to them. They judge me in terms of whether I've succeeded or I haven't. And that's the way it should be. However, there are some parties that choose to toe the party line, follow the party whip, be told what to do by their party leaders. If you put your party leader first and not your constituents, isn't that kind of like the wrong way around? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, that, that is happening with some, some parties in the council. Governments and councils they're interested in three things. Promises, parties, and politics. UKIP, and certainly my position in council, are interested in three things as well. People, people, and people. 